क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अ न्यू दैट टॉपिक दैट इज अ पार्स ऑफ रिलेशन इन फूरिया ट्रांसफॉर्म फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज द स्टेटमेंट लेट्स सी नाउ इन पार्स ऑफ रिलेशन फूरिया ट्रांसफॉर्म एक्स ऑफ टी इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय एक्स ऑफ जो मेगा देन द रिलेशन दैट इज द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ दिस पार्स ऑफ रिलेशन इज इंटीग्रेशन of mod of x of t the whole square dt is 1 upon 2 pi integration minus infinity in infinity mod of x of j omega square d omega now this whole statement that we are going to prove right now so first of all we know that x of t is multiplied with its complex conjugate value that is x of t into x star of t is always mod of x of t the whole square this thing that we know and we have studied in mathematics so we will start from that value so first of all as i said mod of x of t the whole square is always or we can say that we can represent it x of t into x star of t now i will apply or i will integrate both the sides with respect to t but over the range from minus infinity to infinity so i am going to integrate both the sides with respect to t over the range minus infinity to infinity so i am going to integrating both the sides so i can say that this equation will be now let's say this is nothing but my equation number 1 now we have studied the inverse fourier transform definition so by according to definition of inverse fourier transform my x of t is nothing but fourier inverse of x of j omega and the definition is now look at here this is the omega now look at here we can write the same thing but for complex conjugate value of x of t also so what will be the definition for complex conjugate or you can say what will be the inverse formula or inverse fourier transform formula for x star of t let's see so for x star of t the equation will be minus infinity infinity multiplied by 1 upon 2 pi x star of j omega into e to the power minus j omega t d omega now what i'm going to do i'm going to substitute this whole value in equation number 1 so my equation number 1 will be my equation number 1 we have minus infinity to infinity x of t and over here this x of t is multiplied by its complex conjugate value but where i'm going to substitute this whole equation over there look at here what i'm going to do i'll integrate x of t with e to the power minus j omega t dt and i'll keep rest of the thing outside the integration or you can say that we will use only x of t e to the power minus j omega t dt in one integration and in another integration i'll keep x star of j omega d omega and 1 upon 2 pi is constant so we'll write first now look at here the x of t e to the power j minus j omega t dt over the integration minus infinity to infinity this is nothing but the definition of fourier transform so the integration of minus infinity to infinity x of t e to the power minus j omega t dt is represented by x of j omega as we know that x of t into x star of t is nothing but mod of x of t the whole square similarly x of j omega and x star of j omega the product of these two is always mod of x of j omega the whole square so i'll replace this whole x star of j omega x of j omega by mod of x square of j omega
So look at here on right hand side. I have replaced x of j omega and x star of j omega by mod of x of j omega the whole square and d omega is there. And this is nothing but the proof of Parcell's relation. So this is all about the properties. Now we will study a new topic in new video. But for that stay tuned to Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda for further more videos.